Hey everybody and welcome to another Project Somewhat Mapping 101. In the last video we talked about the rules file and I think it is smart to talk about the blends file now even though I will never use another blend because I really don't like setting it up. So just like if you do a BMP to TMX and you do select cells only, there is a blends file. I already have it open right here but to get to that we are going to start off with the rules file again because that is your base or whatever you're going to blend together. Now for the blends, of course, you need all the transitions that you have, for example, in the blends underscore natural underscore zero one file, you have all these blending options. Now, If you're going to do blends, you have to make all of these for whatever tile you you're going to, sorry, you're going to blend together. Now in the rules file, you have, of course, a rule with a name, a bitmap for zero. My cat is a whiny bitch. Um, we have a color for the dark grass and the name, and of course, the layer that it is on. Now, if we use the tile name and search for dark grass, we get another entry and another one and another one. And these are for all the directions that this stuff can blend together. Now, if we zoom in a little bit if we look for tile 24 so we have 0 and we have 8 and we have 16 and we have 24 as this one and then a variation of that one is tile 28 which is of course four tiles over and the same thing goes for west which is right there with 25 and then we have 29 same goes for east and then the south version so these are all the blends that are listed in here if you wanna make your own blend, I recommend just copy pasting this section and just changing the name and the blends. So this is the actual name that you had in your rule, but then add it with underscore south, east, west, and north. In addition to that, they have an alias for all the blends, starting with 24, which is of course again, 0, 8, 16, 24, and with 25, 26, 27, but then it jumps back to these with um, 17 and then the order is kind of messed up right here but in, in the end it is 18, 19 and 20. Now you probably also want to do the same thing with those just to have them listed. And then the last one is the dark grass listing for the regular colors which is 16 and then we have 21, 22 and 23. I don't think these are by default you know, needed because you don't need the options for different colors of grass. Definitely not if you're doing something with tiles. Uh, same goes for these. You probably don't need the altered variants, but if you want to have a more natural look, you probably want to have variations so it doesn't all look the same when tiled. If my cat stops hugging the microphone, I hope you guys uh, are not too bothered by it. Okay, now you're gonna move. All right, so we have all the blends uh, set up here, of course, because this is the regular file where all the rules set up. And then you can go to your blends file. Now in your blends file, there are a whole bunch of entries. And in this case, we're gonna look for the main tile, which is dark grass, because that's the one we're using. And then the blend tiles, which you have defined. Go back up here, dark grass north. That These are the tiles that are gonna be used in this entry. And the direction you're going to need is in this case north because that's the one you're making it for and you want to exclude water so dark grass never blends with water now we will get back to this in a little bit so uh just forget about that one now you want to do the same thing for west of course the color is still or the main rule is still dark grass the blend tiles have been sampled in the western stuff or listed there uh, directions west and so on so you do this for east and south and then you have a couple more entries for the northwest part northeast southwest and southeast now in this case they only list one option because there technically only is one tile option for it so northwest would be tile 17 which is this one so it just states the tile and there's no alias for it because it it's you know the same amount of work just type this in instead of 
making an alias and then typing it in there, which kind of sounds counterproductive and actually like more work. Um, so yeah, they have just have them listed right here. Now direction northwest, and then again, it's excluding water, and in this case, it's also excluding street lines. So it's not blending over street lines, or there shouldn't be any street lights blending with this stuff. Now we have the same thing for northeast, southwest, and southeast. If you want to be, you know, smart, you just want to copy this entire section, copy it, put it on the bottom, and just fill it in with your own stuff. Um, but one thing to keep in mind is the exclude rule. So dark grass is excluding water, and then if you scroll down, we go to medium grass, which is actually excluding dark grass and water. If you scroll down a little bit more, light grass is excluding dark grass, medium grass, and water. So this is, I think the word is accumulative. So it's basically it's taking the previous entries and adding more to it. And that's for this reason. So if we have a red tile right here, and we have a blue tile right next to it, let's put it right there. So if the red tile, let's draw with green and just a little, little, yes. So let's say the blue tile tries to blend with the red tile and the red tile tries to blend with the blue tile. The red tile is going to do this right here to make it blend. And the blue tile is going to do this right there to make it blend. And then it, this is going to look all fucked up. So you only want it to blend a certain way. So in this case, you only want the newer tile, the blue option, to blend on top of the red option and do this. That's why it's excluding the previous entries. So otherwise you get weird fucking blends that all try to blend into each other, which of course doesn't work. And then uh, you have to fix that manually, which you don't want to do because the whole point of setting this up is so you don't have to do it manually. So keep that in mind, that is the biggest uh, trap you can step into. Um, but that's kind of the blends file, it's it's more a process of I want to do another biome and make something very out there for Project Zomboid and not just do this for every single tile because the basic tiles are more than enough to you know suit your needs. As always, a big shout out to my patrons on Patreon, thank you very much. And if you like these videos, consider liking and subscribing. I hope you have a very, very nice day.